Hey there, parents and new parents-to-be. Listen, there's a situation that happens more frequently than I would like, and I don't want you to find yourself in this position. Now, the scenario I'm talking about is when you take your infant, your newborn, to your pediatrician for a general well check, and your pediatrician lets you know that your baby has a problem that you caused. That feels bad. And the great news is that this problem is for the vast majority of cases preventable. Now, what I'm talking about is plagiocephaly. It's also known as flat head syndrome. And let me grab my baby. What is happening here is the baby's head is becoming flat on the back or flat on certain sides, developing a flat spot. The great news about this is that this is preventable. So in today's video, we are going to cover why this happens, the causes behind flathead syndrome, and most importantly, the simple little things that you can do and add into your everyday life with baby. It's not going to be hard, but it's going to develop a routine to help prevent this flathead syndrome. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Alice Turner. I am a doula, a childbirth educator, and on my channel, we talk about childbirth and we talk about babies. And I'd love for you to subscribe if you would like to get more content just like this. Now, as you likely know, babies are born with soft, moldable skulls. So they have two soft spots, the fontanelles on the back and on the top of their head, and their skull bones are moldable, meaning they can change shape and move around, which makes this design really great for that journey through the birth canal. But it can also lead to uh, easily molding when they are outside of the womb, which is that flat head syndrome that can happen. We can see flat head syndrome uh, cause, the cause of that is baby spending too much time in the same position. So we all know that it is absolutely best to put baby on their back for the prevention of SIDS. So baby does need to spend time on their back, but because of this, sometimes we see flathead syndrome. So we're gonna talk about some easy ways to counteract this time of sleep on their back. Not just sleeping on their back, but time in car seats, any of those baby container devices. Spending a lot of time on those hard surfaces can lead to that flathead syndrome. The other thing is always holding the baby in the same way when you are doing activities with the baby. Now, this can be hard because we have a dominant hand, a dominant arm that feels, things sometimes feel right to us, but I want us to think about ways that we can easily change our behavior to help keep baby's head nice and round. Let's jump to ways to prevent. So there are four things that we do with baby all throughout the day and with each of these things, if we can switch side to side, side to side, left to right for each of these, that's gonna help prevent the flat head syndrome. So we've got feeding, we have burping, diapering, and sleeping. So let's start with feeding. If you're breastfeeding, you pretty normally will switch side to side. So baby will spend time on your right, baby will spend time on your left. That's great. Now, if you are bottle feeding, a lot of people, myself included, feel more comfortable feeding a baby with a bottle on our right hand, or our dominant hand, in my case, right. So this feels really good. And if we switch, this might feel a little strange. However, that's what we wanna do. So maybe half of your feeding, you feed baby with your dominant hand, half of your feeding, you switch and feed with your other hand. Again, the important part is switch back and forth. Now, in the middle of feeding, we might be doing some burping. When we are burping, we might want to do, we can do our right side burping. Baby might have their cheek like this, this, spend some time this way. Then baby, we can switch and do this way. So we want to switch left, right, left, right, left. Switching up baby and burping. Now, for diapering, this is a great hack. A lot of times, if we have baby on the diaper, the changing table, putting changing their diaper, we feel comfortable a lot of times with baby on 
with their head on one side. Like I really prefer changing a baby with their head is on my left side and I am changing their baby, changing the diaper here. Well, when they are being changed, they usually like to turn their head towards noise, towards us. And so in this case, the baby is turning towards their right looking at me. Well, a little hack is sometimes change your baby this way. Other times put them on the changing table this way so that they are turning their head to look at you this way. Super easy. It just takes a little bit of knowing and changing up your routine to help baby practice the way that they're turning their head. Similarly with sleeping, when we put our baby down in a bassinet, in a crib, wherever they are sleeping, if you put their head one way, say up uh, towards this side of wherever they're sleeping in um, on Mondays, maybe on Tuesdays, you switch it this way. And babies are gonna tend to look towards wherever you come into their space or wherever you're sleeping. If they are in a bassinet next to your bed, you can even change the bassinet back and forth. If it if for some reason you feel like it makes a difference or just change the position of where you're putting baby. So that say they are sleeping next to your bed and they get hungry, they wake up, they turn to the left. And then the next day when you have them in their bed, they are this way and they turn to the right. So a little hack just to make that easier. Now let's talk about a couple other things that you can do. Again, super easy, but it's really gonna help is tummy time and baby wearing. So two great techniques to really help baby um, with their keeping their head nice and round. So with baby wearing, we are keeping baby off their head. So they're not gonna be, you know, sleeping in a crib, sleeping on in a car seat. They are up with us, not having time um, with their head being molded. And a, a little tip when you're baby wearing, especially say you're wearing a wrap, you can gently turn your baby's head so their head is resting on one cheek. And then maybe the next time you baby wear them, you wear them sort of on this side so their head is on the other cheek. Baby wearing can be a great way to help prevent. It also is just amazing anyway. The next thing is tummy time. You've probably heard that it's important to have babies on their tummy for bits of time during the day. Babies usually don't like tummy time when they're newborns, they often cry. So it is okay as long as we do just a few seconds, a minute in little intervals throughout the day, uh, that is really gonna help. We don't need extended amounts of time, especially when they're little, but I have a great little hack that I wanna share with you for getting this tummy time in and making it a routine of your day. And it has to do with diapering because of course we are gonna be diapering no matter what. Even though it might be strange, you can think of it as a rotisserie chicken or pancakes that we have to go back and forth, right? If we're cooking, we have to evenly get both sides. So if we are changing baby's diaper, we can change baby's diaper like this. And then after diaper is done, turn baby on their side Standing there, of course, with your hand right next to baby. You're not going to leave baby alone on the changing table. Of course, you know that. Um, baby on their side. Let them spend a few seconds, a minute, if they're enjoying it, on their side. Then rotate for tummy time on the changing table. Again, you're right there. You can even have your hand on baby. They might cry. A couple, you know, a few seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. That's That counts. That's great. And then keep turning baby over to the other side uh, with side lying on the other side and let them have some time there. So if you're changing your baby's diaper, you know, eight times a day, 10 times a day, you can have time. Now, of course, middle of the night, you know, skip that. You just need to maximize your sleep. But during the daytime, think of doing, spending that time sort of rotating all the way through and letting them have a little bit of tummy time and side time when you are diapering and that will be great. Tummy time is also really great if you are lying back in the chair and having baby like this and letting them have some tummy time this way. You can also kind of position their head, help them that way. Okay guys, you can do this. These small little hacks that are gonna help baby keep that nice rounded shape, prevent flat head, and implement them into your schedule 
If you like this video and found it helpful, I always appreciate a like. Also, if you want to see more baby care, I have a great video about uh, umbilical cord care here. And if you are waiting for that magic day in labor, make sure you check out my must watch before birth playlist because that's where you're gonna find my top hits uh, for the big day. Thanks for watching today, guys. Have a good one.